<laughs> oh boy, he's getting ready. A toast <laughs> in honor of the most superb acquisition of Stanley oh, Variety advertisement the in the past decade <laughs> to Gwen. How sexy. Can we toast, please? Thank you. So, when are you going back to work? Beginning of February. Are you excited? Yeah. It's a good campaign. Um, it should really be like this huge start of career. Us. I need to kill Gwen. She found that I had anything to do with this. Hey, thanks for giving up Gwen for that interview. I can't believe how big he's got. Yeah. That girl like me, it's yeah. just so tough to take care of. Like the bronchitis is clearing up. Are you at least taking the day off? Mm. I can't. I have to pitch this ad to Becca today, and you know how that goes. Well, why not just reschedule and take some time off? I don't have that privilege, Adam. You know how important my career is to me. I could get to head the design team for this project. And just take it easy? Thanks for the oatmeal, babe. And the coffee. My oh, pleasure. Mm. Love you. Ready for another celebration? Guessing the pitch didn't go well? No. Uh, the pitch went fine. I knew you, Nelly. I've got other news. Um, are we happy about this or not? So what are we going to do about it then? I'm getting rid of it. But don't you want to talk about it? I have to go in the bathroom. Are you hurting? Just a little sore. Well, let me help you. I can, I can do it. Mm -hmm. What's 
wrong? Nothing's wrong. Why didn't the birth control work? Excuse me? Why didn't it work? I mean, we've been using the pill for how many years now? Fucking antibiotics. They canceled out my birth control and didn't get rid of my bronchitis. How is that even possible? I don't know. Ask the fucking doctor. that it's my fault that this... I'm not implying anything. I mean, God damn it, Gwen. Why is it that I'm always to blame whenever anything goes wrong? I'm not blaming you, Adam. Really? I mean, because that sounded an awful lot like an accusation to me. Fuck you. No, fuck you. You know, and only this time... Fuck you. What does that even mean? It means I'm tired of being the bitch in this relationship. I do everything your way. And if I dare step out of line, all hell breaks loose. That's not fair. Fair? Did you even ask me what I thought about our pregnancy? I couldn't keep it, Adam. I would have lost the project, the campaign. I wouldn't be doing so well at work. It's always about work, isn't it? <laughs> Work is what puts food on our table. I hope you remember that I was unemployed for almost six months. And yes, I love my job. Forgive me if I take pride in what I do. There are other things in life besides work, Gwen. You know what? I don't need to hear this crap. Yes, you do. You need to sit the fuck down and listen for a change. I've been listening. I've been listening plenty these days, and you know what I heard at work? That the only reason I got the interview was because of you. Whatever happened to respecting my need to do it on my own? You know what, Gwen? I tried that. I mean, I really did. And nobody believes in you more than I do. But it doesn't matter how fucking brilliant you are. You wouldn't have got a second call if you did know someone at the agency. That doesn't change the fact that people are talking to you. dare change the fucking subject. This is about you making a decision to kill our baby and not talking to me about it first. I didn't mean it like that. Kill our baby. That's not what I meant. No. You did. You meant it exactly like that. So go ahead. Let me have it. Tell me how much I hurt you. Could have talked it through? I mean, I stand by you no matter what. I mean, I'd be willing to do anything. Anything to make it work. It wouldn't have mattered. And why not? We've been great together for five years. I want to have a family with you someday. What if I don't want children? What? Let's face it, Adam. I didn't exactly have the best family model to go by. But you made it through, didn't you? Yes. Look, we're great together. We love each other, but... But you don't want kids. No. Not now. 
Maybe. Maybe never.